Hey guys, we are going to talk a little today about energy transfer. That just means how energy can transfer from one thing to another. We're going to watch a Generation uh, Genius video and we're going to stop and talk about it as we go. I hope you enjoy watching. Hey guys, what's up with Bert? We don't know, he just keeps beeping. Maybe he's exploring a new career as an alarm clock. His, uh, his power is low. You've been using Bert as a charging station? No. <laughs> what is that thing? A portable popcorn ring. Why? Why popcorn? By charging your devices, you drained all of Bert's energy. This is cause and effect. I'm Dr. Jeff Finnecker, and today we'll explore the science behind energy transfer. <laughs> taking their legs and they're pedaling the bike, which is the mechanical energy. But where do we get our energy from? Do we just wake up with it? Where do we get our energy from? Can you think of any ideas? So you might have done this this morning. If you're feeling a little weak when you woke up, you're like, oh, I don't have any energy. But when you wake up, you usually eat a good breakfast. That's why they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day because it gives you energy. And that energy is chemical energy that you can use to move. Generators don't actually generate energy. They just change energy from one form to another. Or in this case, they convert motion energy to electrical energy. This all sounds good, but which one of us is going to be doing the pedaling? Jeffrey, have you seen my exercise bike? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dr. Jess, Mom. Hi, guys. Oh, here it is. What did you do to my exercise bike? Mom, we need your help for a demonstration. Are you ready for your workout? I was born ready. Seriously. My... Alrighty, guys. So... My first words were... I'm ready! <laughs> All right, let's crank up the tunes. Look, the pedal is causing energy to be transferred to birth. Hmm, electricity. I'm over Dr. Jeff, but why? Sorry, Bert. We'll get back with you in a minute and get you fully charged. But first, let me show you some other cool things that energy transfer can do. The electrical energy being generated by the pedaling and flowing through these wires can also be used to produce light. It 
can also be used to produce sound. And finally, heat. Ooh, this will be perfect with my freshly made popcorn. And now, back to Bert. Okay, so we're we are gonna pause for just a second on the video and we're gonna come back to it tomorrow. What I want you to think about now is I just gonna want you to look around you. What are, what are some things that you see around you that are transferring energy? Right now, I see I have a light right here. Okay, it's plugged into an electrical outlet. As soon as I use my mechanical energy to turn the light switch on, boop, Eureka, we have light. Okay, so electrical energy is changing to light energy, but also something I notice, oh, it's so bright. When I put my hand over top of the light, ouch, it's hot. So not only we're going electrical to light energy, but we're also going to heat energy. So there's three ways that energy is transferred by just this little light bulb. Can you see something in your house that is showing a way that energy is transferred? And that's what I would like for you to do on your Google exit slip today.